Then he brought me to the nave and measured the side pillars. Six cubits wide on each side was the width of the side pillar. The width of the entrance was ten cubits, and the sides of the entrance were five cubits on each side. And he measured the length of the nave, forty cubits, and the width, twenty cubits. Then he went inside and measured each side pillar of the doorway, two cubits, and the doorway, six cubits high, and the width of the doorway, seven cubits. He measured its length, twenty cubits, and the width, twenty cubits, before the nave, and he said to me, This is the Holy of Holies. Then he measured the wall of the house of Yahweh, six cubits, and the width of the side chambers, four cubits, all around about the house on every side. The side chambers were in three stories, one above another, and thirty in each story, and the side chambers extended to the wall which stood on their inward side all around, that they might be fastened, and not be fastened into the wall of the house itself. The side chambers surrounding the house were wider at each successive story. Because the structures surrounding the house went upward by stages on all sides of the house, therefore the width of the house increased as it went higher, and thus one went up from the lowest story to the highest by way of the second story. I saw also that the house had a raised platform all around. The foundations of the side chambers were a full rod of six long cubits in height. The thickness of the outer wall of the side chambers was five cubits. But the free space between the side chambers belonging to the house and the outer chambers was twenty cubits in width all around the house on every side. The doorways of the side chambers toward the free space consisted of one doorway toward the north and another doorway toward the south, and the width of the place of the free space was five cubits all around. The building that was in front of the separate area at the side toward the west was seventy cubits wide, and the wall of the building was five cubits thick all around, and its length was ninety cubits. Then he measured the house, one hundred cubits long, the separate area with the building and its walls were also one hundred cubits long. Also the width of the front of the house and that of the separate areas along the east side totaled one hundred cubits. He measured the length of the building along the front of the separate area behind it, with a gallery on each side, 100 cubits, along with the inner nave and the porches of the court. The thresholds, the latticed windows, and the galleries round about their three stories, opposite the threshold, were paneled with wood all around, and from the ground to the windows, but the windows were covered, over the entrance, and to the inner house, and on the outside, and on all the wall all around inside and outside, by measurement. It was carved with cherubim and palm trees, and a palm tree was between cherub and cherub, and every cherub had two faces, a man's face toward the palm tree on one side and a young lion's face toward the palm tree on the other side. They were carved on all the house all around. From the ground to above the entrance, cherubim and palm trees were carved, as well as on the wall of the nave. The doorposts of the nave were square, as for the front of the sanctuary, the appearance of one doorpost was like that of the other. The altar was of wood, three cubits high and its length two cubits, its corners, its base, and its sides were of wood. And he said to me, This is the table that is before Yahweh. The nave and the sanctuary each had a double door. Each of the doors had two leaves, two swinging leaves, two leaves for one door and two leaves for the other. Also there were carved on them, on the doors of the nave, cherubim and palm trees like those carved on the walls, and there was a canopy of wood over the front of the porch outside. There were latticed windows and palm trees on one side and on the other, on the sides of the porch, thus were the side chambers of the house and the canopies.